Lucas Media. Don't forget to smash the like button. Thumbs up and thumbs down, if however you feeling it. But we got some news coming out of our world. The young lady, she appears to be young, is bragging about having seven kids by seven baby daddies. And as if it's a good thing. So let me play this video and I'll get back with my thoughts. Okay, you guys, yes. I am a mother of seven kids. Seven kids. I had my first child at 14 years old. Yes, I had my first child at 14 years old. I do not regret it. He is well, healthy, and he's 19 right now. God, praise God. Yes, you guys, I have seven kids, seven different baby daddies. Yeah, seven different baby daddies. I heard it. You heard it right, right here. Seven different baby daddies, seven kids. Had my first child at age 14. Yes, and I do receive 3K, 3,000 in EBT food stamps. Yes, 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 yes. We are so happy. We are so blessed. We are very thankful. Yes, we are happy where we're at in life right now. We are happy. Yes, we are happy. Yes, yes, yes. Um, like I said, it's going to be haters. You know, people going to be jealous and all that. Y'all can keep y'all little comments. But at the end of the day, my kids are taken care of. That all that matters, okay? That's it. That's all that matters. We ain't worried about y'all. Peace. Now, did y'all notice that she never once bragged about having a husband? Not even a boyfriend? So you can have seven kids by seven different men. And not one of them wants to marry you? Not the first one, not the second one, not the third. What LeBron say? Not four, not five, not six, seven, seven. So that's saying a lot about you. What probably happened was people was probably talking about her, which made her come out with that. And honestly, 3K out of seven people is not a lot of people. I mean, that's not a lot of money. You, you I got I got teenage sons and daughters right now. You know how much food they go through a week? And I work. I think it is sad. And look, we... I've had people in my family who had kids young, you know, under 18. And so I'm not going to get on her about that for the first one. The first one's always a mistake. But for you to have seven kids by seven different men, that says a lot about you. That says a lot about what you think of yourself. That says a lot about what the men you the men you're dealing with think of you. And that also says a lot about the men that you are dealing with in general. But this is the cycle. We can go on there and brag about having seven kids by seven different men, but we don't brag about becoming doctors, becoming lawyers, having education. As and I'm talking about on the mass. Don't talk about your small group of friends. I'm talking about on a large scale consistently. So in our community, right, if you go back 50 years ago, that was shame. You were shamed. If you were having kids out of wedlock, you were shamed. You were shamed. You were shamed from church to community. People will whisper about you. And being a stepfather was such an honor, but you got seven. Who's going to date somebody with seven kids by seven different men? You don't know which baby daddy going to show up. You Who locked up? Who who uh, who in the dirt? It's so many different scenarios. And that's so many different DNAs you got to deal with. So many different personalities you got to deal with. No, no, thank you. I'm good. I'm good. It just goes to show you how backwards and how effed up we are. You know, like I said, this this like if you... If she what? If she had her first baby at fourteen, she's in her thirties. At some point, you didn't you didn't stop at the baby number two. Just I mean, whoever whoever dealing with her, that you know, they ain't even got to strap up. They just it, it is what it is. And for you to come online bragging about that ish, bragging about it, bragging, my we are well taken care. There ain't no way you got seven kids by seven different men and you not living off the state. So there's nothing to brag about about that. When when a lot of us got to get up every day and and, and work hard for our living. A lot of times you get to sit around and be on Section 8 and, you know, your rent only $300 a month while we paying 2000 and up, a lot of us. But then these are the same people that'll be like, why you won't marry me? Why you won't accept me for me? It's a package deal. All seven of us. And it's really, you really think about it. That's 14 personalities you got to deal with. You got to deal with all seven of her kids. That's seven. All seven of the baby daddies, that's 14, and her, my bad, that's 15 different personalities. No, thank you, I'll pass, man. I'm sure most of y'all would, too. And sisters, y'all know, man, y'all gotta start, y'all gotta start getting on y'all friends who doing stuff like this. I don't know who her mama or her parents was, but when she got the baby number two, they should have sat her. The number one already was bad enough. But again, we all make mistakes, you know, it happens, you young, you don't know no better. But once you get to a certain, to a certain point, 
My bad, y'all. Y'all hear my uh golden doodle barking. Boys, y'all get to a certain point. Y'all got to uh uh, man. No, nah, man. So, like I said, another, another way of the community failed her. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.